Savvy JT, it says on the back of the Daily Mirror this morning. And there's also the story about Jose Mourinho underneath it. And, of course, uh, lots of stories today about Mourinho, bearing in mind he's not going to be in the dugout for that match against Stoke City this afternoon. Now, Sav, you've been in the spotlight this week um, after what John Terry had to say about you in the pre-match Champions League press conference before the game against Dinamo <laughs> Kiev. Just to explain to everybody, first of all, how you found out something must have gone off and you must have had a mention somewhere. Well, I was in Seville for the City game and I'm lying in my bed, done all my research, done all my notes. It was about three o'clock and I was just dropping off, you know, when you're a bit tired in the afternoon. Anyway, phone started going berserk. I thought, what's going on here? About 2,000 mentions, obviously showed the press conference of, of John Terry, you know, basically, you know, having a go at me, which is his opinion is fine. I don't mind that. It's a game of opinions. But that's how I found out. was was a bag of nerves. I thought, what's happened here? Do you know what I mean? What's happened? So, so wh why the response that you've given? You waited till this morning. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting you to have a go back on social media or say something before now. Uh, but you've given yourself a bit of thinking time and you decided to, to use your column this morning to answer back. Well, I think it's about a bigger picture. You know, it's about the people who play football from grassroots level, the amateurs, the, the semi-professionals, the, the milkman, the plumber, people who phone 606, people who tweet into this show. It's about a game of opinions. I think, I think personally, everybody is allowed one. Whether you've won the World Cup, whether you've never kicked the ball in your life, if you're a journalist, the journalists travel around the world, stay up late, writing reports, they're entitled to as, as opinion as anybody else. So I think in my... I expressed an opinion. I think my opinion was after the game at Man City about John, where I said, listen, I don't think he'll play every week. Age catches up with us all. He's a magnificent player. He's got 107 um, Chapman's League appearances to his name, joint most with David Beckham. He's a legend at Chelsea, always will be, and he's a fantastic Premier League defender. But... I just express my opinion. I think I'm entitled to it, like everybody in the world is. OK, there's one more I want to ask you, and we'll bring uh, John and Rio in on it as well. But let's just remind ourselves what John Terry had to say when he had a word about Robbie in that pre-match press conference. I've, I've come under criticism individually from, from certain players, individuals, you know, players who, who, I'd, who I've looked up to, played alongside... You know, and, and take it on the chin 100%. You know, the likes of Rio, Cara, Neville. We're talking at the very best that, that I've seen and come across in the game. I sit there and listen and, and take everything in and try and, and try and improve that. I don't look at that in a negative way. When certain other people speak, yeah, maybe not. Maybe I don't listen. Maybe I don't take it on the chin when players have not had a career, have, have played at a really bad level throughout their career and, and come for people that have achieved what I've achieved in the game. Um, you know, Robbie Savage being one. <laughs> it's, you know, he's dug me out a couple of times and it's, listen, as a footballer, an individual, you take it. And as I said, I'll take it all day long from the very best, the Rios, the Carragas, the Nevilles. All day long I'll take it. Other people, no. What he went on to say was you wouldn't take it from people who've had no career, and that's what really got you. Well, that's, that's his opinion. Um, I didn't do bad. I got every ounce of energy out of my career. You know, the thing that got to me more was a sycophantic laughs of the journalists in the room, you know, because indirectly, if I didn't have a career, what was he saying about the people in the room? Which, you know, that was their opinion. Um, so that was the thing that hurt most, that, you know, the laughs in the room, because somebody's having a dig at me, and it's fine, not a problem, but... No career, you know, I played, listen, I'm not making this about me, but 350 Premier League games, it's not, it's not a bad, yes, I was technically not great, yes, I didn't win trophies, but every training session, every game, I give my utmost and the best, and I, so I think I, I can have an opinion. OK, Rio, now, John said in the piece there that he would take criticism from you, that he wouldn't take criticism from Robbie. What would your reaction be to that, bearing in mind that you have played at the level that John's talking about, you've won Champions League, you've, you've played many times in, in big tournaments for England. How do you view that? Do you think that people are entitled to their opinion? I think, as Robbie said before, it's an opinionated game. Everyone's got an opinion. That's what's great about this uh, game that we, we've played and we watch, etc. I've been where John is now, um, where people are starting to doubt you a little bit. People are saying that you're, you're not as, your powers aren't as strong as they were. And you do have to start looking inside. And my reaction was to win trophies, to try and win games and win trophies to stop people talking like that. I'd done it in my last year at Manchester United. I wasn't able to do it when I was at QPR. So, but coming out and talking 
I just thought it'd put me on the back foot a little bit. It'll be all I could get a negative response from it, or I'd think to myself, the best way it looked petty for me to come out and talk and to pick people out. I used to think, as long as I win, I win a trophy or I play well for a consistent amount of time, I can shut people up. And sometimes, to be honest, yeah, there were reporters that spoke about me, but I'd gone, I'd gone nail them personally. I'd see them in the mix zone and I'd go and say, listen, I don't mind you writing about me, but don't, don't make it personal. And that's when I thought there was a line in the, in the sand there. If you make it personal, then I'm, I'm with, well within my rights to go up to you personally and dig you out. You see, that's the different angle, isn't it? Before we bring you in, John, because you're going to talk about this from a managerial standpoint, and you faced this kind of thing last season. Rio's made an interesting point there. Rio said, when people make it personal. Yeah. John made it personal with you, didn't he? I, I, yeah, I, I think so. You know, the, the no career um, jibe, um, played at a really bad level. You know, that it was personal. And, as I say, lots of, there's been lots of opinions about me personally, and I take them on the chin, as Rio said. In this business we do now, punditry, core commentary, I get hammered. I get hammered. 50% of people love me, 50% of people hate me. And if, if I responded to everyone that criticises me, well, it'd be madness. I'm going to check those numbers. I'll check the numbers. 50-50 <laughs> says at the moment.